Hi everyone, this is Harley from Garden FL and welcome to episode four of the Gardening TV series. Today we're gonna to be gardening, even though it's super hot outside, it said it was like 103 degrees on the weather index. Um, so I'm not too sure why I'm out here in this heat. Well, I do know is because I love gardening. <laughs> as you see, all my plants are just doing very well. This is a Relinia, and as you see, the leaves are actually super healthy on this. So uh, let's go around and look at all the other plants. Check out these bananas, guys. These bananas actually planted uh, the corn completely upside down. And the reason I did that was because uh, when they grow from upside down, upright, they'll have to grow down first and then up. So it just creates a stronger base for the banana when it grows rather than if you plant the corn just uh, upside, you know, as it will grow. As you see, I have a few bananas back here. Now these are all Thai uh, Namwa. And yeah, I love, I really love this space. I always like to show off these beautiful flowers from the passion fruit. So unfortunately, this Haas avocado did not survive um, the flooding. As you know, avocados, they like uh, well-drained soil. Now this soil, unfortunately, faces some, um, at least when I planted it, we didn't plant it, you know, as high as we should have, as mounded. So that's why that happened to this. I'll probably transplant it to the farm um, we're going to be purchasing in the near future. But as you see, all the other fruit are just doing fine. As you guys didn't know, this is Kent, and these are not ready to pick yet. Um, as you know, Kent is a, actually a later season variety, so they're just not quite ready yet. Next to these are the beautiful Canada leaves that, you know, seem to always be blooming. These are at the Moya, AP at the Moya seedlings. Uh, as you see, they're doing very well. Oh, we have a visitor. Hey, Kumis. As you see, he's always protecting the seedlings. And Hey, Gomez, what are you doing in there? <laughs> he's hiding in the grapes. This is actually a muscandine grape. Hey, what are you doing, buddy? And this right here is a ice cream bean. So this is actually all my cherimoya and uh, atemoya seedlings, the new generations. Now, these should be... You know, in a year, these will all be possibly fruiting, which uh, I wouldn't allow them to fruit at that young, but that's just how young uh, these uh, anonis are able to fruit at. Now, I really like this sugar apple, a tree that I have right here. I don't know, when I planted it, I thought that it was uh, the most prettiest one. Okay, so here's the fruit. We're just gonna try to take this off as safe as possible. It's kind of hard because the uh, that I guess, you know, the sugar apple around it has grown so much that the bag is now kind of hard to even take off. Okay, there we go. Wow. So as you see, this is a Nadai Vietnamese sugar apple. As you see, the bumps and the scales are very prominent. Um, and the texture of it are very bumpy, scaly. Can't wait till these are ready, guys. I cannot wait. I really love these canna lilies. Now I feel like these canna lilies are endlessly blooming in my garden. Um, now these you could actually care for, I could care for better. Now when canna lilies um, bloom and stuff, and this is another reason why I love these canna lilies is because they produce this sort of biomass super abundantly and very easily. And not only is it pretty, but it's also very beneficial. And what you will do with these is just simply, uh, just toss them on the floor and this is actually, uh, compost and uh, you know nutrients for your plant all right everyone i want to thank my good friend aaron now aaron if you're watching this thank you so much over the weekend he got me all of these different varieties of uh, mangoes as you see um, varieties that i haven't even tried before i'm really looking forward to try lemon zest oh let's try to carry all these lemon zest what else do we have here fairchild oh my god thank you no i've never i haven't tried fairchild yet I'm just gonna put some down. Um, sun, sunshine, wow. This one actually looks like sunshine. It's just so orange and pretty. Mm, and the smell is so sweet. Um, this one, I, he, Aaron, you told me this, but I might mess this up. It was PPK. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what this one is, but mm, I can't wait to eat that one. This one is a uh, mystery mango. It's huge, it's like an egg. 
um, and it's from Bradenton, a tree from Bradenton, so where I'm from. So we're gonna, I can't wait to try this one too. Huge mango. This one, uh, Bailey's Marvel. Uh, I believe he said he got this from like the original Baby's, Bailey's Marvel tree. Now, I, I'm, he, it may be this one or another mango, but I think it's this one. Mm, can't wait to eat that one. And the last one is Orange Sherbert. Now, this is actually one of my favorite orange, orange Sherbert. I love this one. And he actually got me two more that are in here, but I already ate it because it was so hot. And I was, uh, you know, they were just ripe, which were the Valencia Pride and Carrie. Carrie mm, was so good. I wish I actually, uh, you know, got a better, uh, I wish I got a shot of that one. Wow, delicious. <laughs> the mystery mango at the top. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Thank you so much again, Aaron, if, you watch, if you're watching this. I can wait. So today we're going to be removing a lot of the yellow leaves on the sugar apples and really of all their plants because, um, you know, it's just a task that I like to do in the garden, you know, kind of maintenance and always make sure guys to put your yellow leaves back in the soil that they are in. Uh, this is kind of like a regenerative process that all plants kind of need to do to build great roots because they get their, they build soil with, you know, their, their dead leaves. So guys, always make sure to you know pluck to chop and drop really but um, of your own you know leaves so this is actually orange sherbet and i really like this variety because number one it actually does taste like orange sherbet and number two is um it has a pretty orange color when it's fully ripened we're just gonna go ahead and cut it open now Well, beautiful uh, color inside. Yummy. Mm. I love this mango. Mm. This is, you can't get enough of it. Like, it's such a, like, an orangey, citrus, mm, taste, but you still got that, like, the light sherbet mm, kind of rich, um, rich fruit, fruit flavor, you know, mm, and the texture is just, Phenomenal. I love this mango. Mm. <laughs> mm. Skin's not as tasty as other mangoes. It's just a little thicker, that's all. Eleven out of ten, though. <laughs> it's always good, you know, to water the plants when it's super hot out. Although I know that um, I have some friends in Punta Gorda that actually have whole systems, you know, whole gardens made where they don't even have to water, which is something I'm super jealous of. And you know, I wish um, I had the, the capability to do that here. Now it's just that. And able to do that you need a lot of mulch and a bunch of other things and here at my parents house i really don't have uh you know the capability to to do that because they want a certain they just don't want mounds of mulch um which at my farm which i'll be purchasing very soon uh, it's gonna be a family farm i'll be able to do that so i know you know i'm not too pressed about it because um you know it still looks beautiful and for what i can for the mulch that they allow you know um it is uh it looks pretty good. See, this is the type of style that my parents like. They just like a, like a little bit of mulch. They don't like, um, you know, the mounds of mulch, which it takes to to uh, really keep the moisture levels at a good optimal level. So you can really just live off the rainwater um, your plants get, which is essentially um, what I'd want to do in the future. 
but for now this is uh, always nice to you know to water your plants and uh, the papaya is doing actually really well as you see there's a few in there that have kind of wilted so here we are again at the purple sugar apple i wanted to show you guys because it is actually turning purple like every day it is uh slightly getting a little more purple as you can see in between the rivets i don't know if you can really tell but it's just beautiful this sugar apple over here these are the ndai vietnamese and as you could tell these are most ready too this one's actually really uniform beautiful fruit so actually all these plants that are right behind me are going to be planted out at the farm once we uh, acquire it so we're currently looking for a lot of land uh close to us well really in, in punta gorda which is about an hour south of us here in bradenton and we're basically trying to plan out all of my anonas and whatever else i have i have uh, so much more other than just anonas but uh anona is going to be one of my main crops that i'm going to be uh you know working with in the future so as you see i just like to go through here and do like my mate my maintenance every day you know there's always something to do and yeah so i'm actually pretty excited because we saw a lot and um we're actually going to drive to see it today with my parents so they're going to be able to see it for themselves because i've been telling them all about it and you know i hope they like it enough so uh you know we can we can get it Thank you guys so much for watching episode four of our gardening tv series please stay tuned because we have a pine island trip coming up and we're gonna visit some cool spots eat some good mangoes visit the sugar apple farm and uh you know a lot of good updates uh, so guys i hope you had a good gardening day and i hope you enjoy next week's episode bye, -bye now and have a great day